Hey Sagittarius, welcome back to my channel. I'm here to do your October messages. So this is going to be for my Saggies, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Take note that this may or may not resonate with everybody. That's what private readings are for. Take what does, don't force it, and drop what doesn't. Okay, I'm going to be using the Zombie Tarot, the Ghost Tarot, and the Halloween Tarot. Yes. Obviously, as you can see, I am a demon. Alright, so let's see what's going on with my Sagittarius. The month of October. Let's move these aside. We have the King of Hazards. Mmm, somebody's feeling a little tied down. A little tied down, tied up. Could have to do with the lover. Yep, we have the lovers. It could be a, 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 a Gemini, perhaps. Maybe someone, you know, has you on lockdown. I feel like you could be in a committed relationship, or if you're married, it could mean that you are just occupied, <laughs> sexually occupied this month of October, so I'm liking that. Let's see what else we got here. It's kind of like, you know what you're doing, Sag. This person that you're dealing with is someone that loves you very, very much. In a relationship, yes. This is someone that loves you. You love them very much. They don't mind that you suffocate them with love. They don't mind that you have them tied down. They like that about you. You know what you're doing. We have the Knight of Wands. Coming in, coming in hot, right? Hot and ready, like Little Caesars. Hot and ready with a lover look at that you could be having someone coming back from the past or if you are already dealing with someone i feel like this month of october you guys are going to be having really fun exciting times it could be very creative you guys could be picking up an energy of you know power couple type of thing so i feel like you guys are a power couple now let's say if you're single i feel like you will be meeting somebody who's just as hot, fiery, and good looking as you are. And I feel like this is going to be like if you're doing something festive, like if you're going to Universal, if you're into all those Halloween festivities, parties, and stuff like that, you will be meeting somebody randomly like that. And it's kind of like you guys are weird together. You guys go good together because you're weird together, if you get what I'm saying. All right, let's see. Let's get some... Uh Ghost Tarot. And it, let's say you had your eye on something. Let's say a job or a career move or whatever it is. You're going to be getting it. That decision is going to be yours for the taking. It's up to you how hot and ambitious you want it. And you will be getting it. So it will be something that you need that you will be tied down to, like a commitment, so that the choice is yours. Now, let's say you are waiting or have your eye on a specific person, they will be coming towards you, they will be drawn to come towards you um, sexually. Okay, they are very attracted to you, and vice versa. So it's going to be a time of you know coming together, and look what just flew out. The Two of Cups. You see that? Mm-hmm. Two of Cups, the lovers. Bam. Bam chicka wow. Oh, Saggy, you know what you're doing, darling. Then we have the Five of Swords reversed. So it's kind of like this month you have no stress. You don't give a fuck what people say or think. 
it's kind of like your your mind is away from the drama, away from the people surrounding you. And it's like focused more on that specific person or goal. And that's all you see. Which is a good thing, in my opinion. Well, 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 would you look at that? We have the death card. Endings and new beginnings. This could signify an ending to an old cycle, okay, and the beginning of a hot new creative cycle. This month of October is going to be one hell of a month for you. It's going to be exciting. It's going to be very mysterious and, and a beginning of something weird, but in your type of weird. So it's kind of like you love, I'm telling you, you're going to go good with the other person who's weird like you. <laughs> <laughs> so this could also represent you could be dealing with a, a, a Scorpio. You could be dealing with a uh, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, but I see more of a Scorpio or a Gemini. Could be another fire sign. Um, and yeah, I don't see any other sign, but it could be. Those are just the signs that, you know, pop up to me. So don't take it as it does not resonate because she didn't see that sign. No, those are just what I'm seeing right now. So so the death card could also mean that um, you have a whole new way of seeing things. Like this person is just like ending a different way for you. Like it's, you are now seeing things in a whole new way, dark and mysterious way. It's kind of like this person knows how to bring out the shadow side of you and vice versa. And that's what makes it mysterious and weird because you needed that balance. You are more on that type of side and you need to start embracing it and it makes it more exciting. It makes it more creative. So I feel like this month is going to be the beginning of that. With the lovers and the two of cups, oh man. Oh man, and the knight of wands, I'm telling you, that weirdo is coming towards you and you towards them and you guys are gonna pop it off because you're just fucking weird. <laughs> All right, let's see. Get some clarifiers with the Halloween or a uh, tarot, and then we'll pull up Oracle from the Halloween Oracle. This flipped over. Ooh, we have a judgment. This is the final call, the final decision, the wake up call. I'm telling you, this person is waking up something that you thought was dead, waking up the shadow side of you. Oh, something flipped over. What is this? Oh, no, that was just from when I was shuffling. Okay. Let's see. Same motherfucking card. Weird. Queen of Amps reverse, which is the Queen of Wands reverse. This could be you. You see, this side of you, you thought it was lost and dead. This is your creative, dark, mysterious side. I'm telling you, with the death card, they're going to bring that back out of you. They're gonna, you're gonna remember who the fuck you were, who the hell you are, and you're gonna love it. Trust me, you're gonna love it. You're gonna feel brand new. You're gonna feel like a freaking vampire or something. <laughs> page of Ghost, which is the Page of Cups? Little beginnings have a great ending or a happily ever after. It's the small things that make you happy. So I feel like, it could be a Pisces too. I feel like this little gesture is going to lead to something amazing, especially with the two of cups here. I feel like you have great things. Great things are coming for you, Saggies, in the month of October. So yay, let's pull one more. Oh, the devil reversed, so that's good. Devil reverse, getting out of, you know, uh, a really bad place where you felt like you weren't yourself, okay? That's bad on its own. When you're not feeling like yourself, when you're not in your element, in your zone, and you're like, your mind is just elsewhere. I feel like with this devil reversed, you're no longer going to be in that period where the authentic self is not shoved away in the closet somewhere. It's going to come out. 
you're going to feel brand new with the death card. You're going to feel great. You're going to feel full of energy and creative festivities that you're going to want to do. You're going to be in love with a weirdo like you. I'm telling you, you're going to pop it off. And I feel like it's going to be great. I feel like it's going to be great. This month will be great for you. Let's pull, let's pull an oracle from the Halloween oracle. Let's see here. Give me a card for Sagittarius. The month of October. My favorite month of the year. Ooh, we have ghosts. This ghost card is talking about regret. You see that? I feel like with this ghost card, something, like I said, this regret, you're going to regret not, you know, regret the fact that you are, you felt like you were losing yourself and you were allowing it to happen because of outside sources, of influences surrounding you. So with this, with the ghost, I'm telling you, whatever it is, you are going to be with this regret card, this ghost card, you are going to be bringing something back from the dead, which is yourself. You will be resurrecting yourself and you are going to be regretting the day that you ever abandoned yourself, okay? Your true authentic self. So with that being said, this person, it's like a reflection of you. It's like everything you've wanted to be, everything that represents you and they bring that back. You see that in them. So it's like they bring that back, if that makes any sense. Let me pull another one from the fortune reading cards. Wow, we have the love card. Mm -hmm, I told you. It says, love surrounds all your connections. Move forward positively in all areas of your life. Look at that. Yes, baby. Love is going to awaken a whole new you, baby. Yep. Bound to go wow wow. <laughs> all right. With that being said, Sagittarius, this was your October message. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in your next video.